Brought to you by an IMI Technology Production. Dreamcast, keeping the dream alive. Are you tired of trying to code in C? Are you tired of trying to be a developer? Are you tired of trying to learn how to code and have just given up? Well, now comes the IMR Auto Porters, Genesis and Game Gear. No longer do you have to struggle like this. Now, you can just use one click and port all the Genesis games and Game Gear games you've ever wanted. And then all you have to do is pop in a CDR, close the lid, and turn it on. No cost, no shipping, no fees. It's the IMR Tech Auto Zupa Duper Pooper. <laughs> I mean, the IMR Tech Auto Porter Super Porter. That's right. You too can put things on Dreamcast that you create. There's miles of possibility artwork, covers, maybe even sell it on eBay. All right, let's get down to the seriousness now. Bloody hell, Ian. What the hell was that, son? I think you've, I think you've, 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 had, you've had a rip of buns a night and now you've been on the turps or something. Nah, nah, Koala. That was me sending up infomercials of the day. Oh, you say so, Ian. Hello, it's Ian Michael, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to have the Game Gear Auto Porter. Follows the same format as the Genesis Auto Porter. And is $0. That's right. No hidden fees, no hidden charges, no shipping handling charges. None at all. So, Koala wants to talk about some things today. Oh, yeah, and about the people who say, oh, but it doesn't work on Flycast, and it doesn't work on Redream. Well, when Redream and Flycast fix their elimination of the Dreamcast, then programs like the Genesis Auto Porter, which is designed to work with hardware and a 64-bit with rate of store queues like real hardware can and not just simulate a katana dev kit then you'll be able to play it on those eliminators but Ian, it doesn't work on me fly cast well i'm afraid that it's pretty redundant playing an eliminator on eliminator the whole point of 
homebrew eliminators that run on another console is because you're going to use it on that particular console. All right, let's get into the meat of it. Over there somewhere. Talking to a previous Ian. Hello, Koala. How you doing? Hello to me fans out there. Well, I really appreciate it. So, very much. So, um, let's get on to the how you use and how you do the Game Gear Auto Porter. It's exactly the same as the other one. I'm following easy to use formats. All will be the same family of products. So, if we go up here into the ROMs, you see it says GG. All you got to do is replace and rename your ROM boot GG in the ROMs GG folder. That is it for that. Now, in the plugins, you've got these new functions. You see the eyes. This is how you could make a blinking Sonic. Or, if you got creative, this is four things that change. So you could make any animation that cycles through four and then five. You could make any animation on the title screen. The title screen only lasts for three seconds, so it's not a big deal. But you have the ability to be creative and create any animation with these five files, which will cycle and animate the process. Also... In this here, you also have the main screen. The main screen, all you have to do is replace this here with your Game Gear game. Pretty simple. Well, if you've got a question, in, it didn't work. Well, I told them to use GIMP. Yeah, but they used Paint.net. Well... I don't use paint.net, I use GIMP, which is open source and free. So, that's the art side of it. This here is the major change. So you can create your own animations at the start. Just give it a go. You'll see the one that I do, That's uh, that I've showed you. Also, this is the spinning, rotating... Uh, version that's the background.png that's in the background underneath your animation and creates the smoke effect and the uh, kind of a bloom effect that happens around your image. You can do anything here, you could put just your cover that rotates if you wanted. You can go hog wild with creativity. Rune, creativity requires work. Well, they don't have to. They can just put flat images and nothing happens. Because these are trans images. <laughs> what did you say, Koala? Well, I have to... Yeah. So, as you see here, it follows the same process. And build and you're done and that's it very simple and very easy now you can make any Game Gear game for the Dreamcast and auto port it make a cover as you can see here where our cover has been made for it and then you can Port your own games to Game Gear. Port your own games to Game Gear. Yeah, we're having a brain fart, and you're porting them to, to Dreamcast for Elimination. Yes, let's not forget this is Elimination, but it enables the average user to do what indie companies have done, including publishers, and that is hide and sort and port a game that's on another system to Dreamcast, press it and sell it. 
So you can do this yourself for zero dollars. That's right, zero dollars. Doesn't cost you anything. It might cost you the price of a CDR. Well, Koala, the price of a CDR is 10 cents. Not where I'm from. Well, that's really not my issue. Walmart, $19, 100 CDRs, 100 games. $20, 100 games. Can't beat that deal. All right. And that's all there is to using the Game Gear Auto Porter to Dreamcast. Now, there's another in here somewhere. There's another... Where are you going? Oh, he's over there. I don't know. Somewhere. Hello, it's Ian Michael. And this welcome to the Game Gear Auto Porter. Now, the intro I spent a week on doing five layers of trans with faked bloom and rotation you only see it for about three seconds here here it comes you can look at all those effects there alright so now you can see the fast math is now working we can see the rotating cube we can see the particle effects and we can see the roto zoom so now let's start the game So the game is now started. This is a special optimized compiled from source build with fast math from DC SWAT as well for SMS Plus. It has been changed into a full auto port with return to menu as a core. So let's play. Of course this eliminates the slowdown on real hardware as well. This is not an enhancer. This is how it plays on a real Game Gear. You'll be delighted with the performance and how it looks on your CRT or LCD. I am playing this on a real hardware. The slowdown is not caused by the Eliminator slowing down, it's caused by the actual game. Not including the ROM, you'll have to find that yourself. this bit of section footage. Hold left and we can save state. Saving to VMU. Left trigger, start. Load state. We're right back to where we were. Full load state capability. Now, for enhancements, this does have some enhancements. You can turn the rapid fire on, which you can't on a real Game Gear. You can go into the settings, and you can 
invert the buttons. We're not having sprite, sprite flicker, so that's an enhancement because on a real machine it has sprite flicker. We can turn on the bilinear Dreamcast filtering. I can't stand that. Um, we can adjust the screen. So you could actually adjust it, you know, to set the size, as you can see right here. So if you wanted to set it at any resolution or the correct resolution, you could. We could also turn on the filtering, which I hate. So now you've got enhanced bilinear filtering. Alright. So there is other options in here. If you want to filter the, the pixels, I don't want to filter the pixels. So we'll go back in here. We'll go default. And we've got bilinear filtering on. So now it is filtered through the GPU and the Dreamcast. So you've taken away all the edges of the pixels. If that's your thing. I also solved the problem in SMS Plus from years ago that has the corruption on the right side of the screen in any other build that you'll find has corruption there. So there's bilinear filtering. We will turn that off so you can see the difference. Or you can have pixel perfect. Now you can see pixel perfect. Alright. And now we can turn on how a real game gear is with flicker. And the sprites will flicker. If that's your thing, if you like spl sprites flickering on the screen like the real hardware, like this, you can have that as well. See all this flicker? That's how a real machine is. Alright. So then you can exit back to the GUI. When you do exit, you don't have to see the intro again. It'll just go like this. And as you can see there, it goes back to the old menu. And you can see that the effects in the background have not been optimized for a week and run a lot slower. I left it like that just to show you the progress as you compare the other menu to this one. Alright, over to the other end, Michael, now. Alright, so from me and Koala. Uh, thank everyone for all the love and support. And from me, thanks everyone that's bought me a coffee and supports me on Patreon. The links are somewhere up there on my YouTube channel. This has been another IMR Tech presentation. It's also been a wonderful experience. A week's optimizing for the Game Gear uh, Auto Porter. And I'll see you in a future video. Love you, Mum. Love you, Susan. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you, Ben. And to all my other patrons and supporters, thank you. Without you, I can't keep doing this stuff. Cheerio and bye for now. Kyoto.